one. I should call this Patty's Polish Corner. <laughs> um, all right, everyone, this video is for you. Jellaholics, Stamaholics, Polishholics, I got it all. Um, this is going to be like a pretty big haul, um, but just, just to let you know, um, this is probably going to be like it until Black Friday for me. Um, I've got some things coming in from China that still haven't arrived. I think maybe I spent like $15, but there's like a ton of stuff coming from China. Um, so, or eBay. So, but, um, this stuff probably put me into the, I'm only going to probably get like a little bit of nail polish from now until, you know, then, or unless I find a really good sale or something like that. So let me show you what I did. <laughs> let me show you my shopping excursion. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, let's start out with, I did forget to show you guys these on my last, um, haul. I got these from eBay and all of them, I think were like $4.65. I'll leave the link in the description box below and they're silicone tools. I saw somebody use them. I can't remember why. I don't know. Maybe it was like chrome powder or something like that, but I thought I should get something. Look how pretty they are. They got little crystals in them. So this is really cool. There's five of them here. And they've got different tips. So they came in a set. And then, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. Um, when my wildflowers from my last um from my last haul, they put this in my little package. It's a little free sample of glitter. Look how hollowy that is. Look how beautiful that is. Ooh, that's really pretty. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, let's go with China. I got a new um, teeny little mat to make decals on because sometimes I do um, some filming like all at once in one day. Um, and sometimes I want to use, you know, make my decals or something on one mat, but I film on the mat and then I only have a black mat. So I wanted to get another little mat. So I think this is like $3. A little over three dollars something like that then let's see okay we'll take a look at oh no this one this one is from um china and it is glow powder and i'll try like after this i'll try to give you a good shot of this in the dark it is amazing Let, let's take it in the dark now let's check it out okay so here it is um this, look at that. This is completely amazing glow powder and it stays glowing this um, dark all night long. It'll just sit there on my table and it'll be glowing like this all night long. It is completely a great pigment powder. It's exactly what I wanted. So what I want to use this for is, um, is my stamping. I wanted to color my stamped image kind of over it or whatever. I wanted to use this on my stamped image somehow and I'll make it glow. So that's really cool. Um, next is all of this. Yeah, this is what I did. I was bad. Um, this I got from a place called Princess Beauty Supply. And they, um, well, it says that you need a license to purchase from them. However, I, I did get the order to go through without putting license in the license field and they sent it to me. So that's pretty cool. Um, these are Kira Sky glitters. Um, they're just glitter toppers. It's the only reason I bought them. They're, they were $11 and 15 cents a set. Um, but glitter toppers in like different colors and stuff like that is really, really hard to find in gel. So that's, that's kind of why I, I went and did that. And these, a set, I believe is like 15 or $16 on eBay. And I, anywhere else that I could have found them, I'm like shipping was, you know, if I found one color, shipping was like for like a little, really expensive. And eBay had free shipping, but they were $15, you know, a set. So um, anyways, that's why I bought them here. <laughs> the thing is, for this, this is all I purchased, it was $18.58 for shipping. But I figured I added up all of these, what it would have cost me on eBay, and I was almost there anyway. So I um, so I just purchased them off of 
off of Princess, and that way I could get them all, because some of the colors I don't even think I could find. Um, so that's why I went there. So let's just take a look at these first. Um, first, what got me interested in Kira Sky is there is a YouTuber, um, Gabby Morris. I will put her information in the description box below. She used this in one of her videos. And it is really amazing. It's very beautiful. So I kind of really like this. And then when I started looking at more Kira Sky, I found I found glitter toppers that I was actually wanting in a in a gel. So we'll look at those later in a minute. So let's take a look at, at this. Oh, this is completely amazing. It's nice and thick and it's packed with glitter. So this is great. I completely love it. So this is a gel and a regular. And this is called Iceberg. Then I found this one, which is really beautiful, and it's called Sweet Plum. And it's a bunch of thick white glitters, and there's some holographic glitters in there, which at the time that I was looking at this was three months ago. It's taken me three months to, to get up enough uh, to, you know, go ahead and invest in this um, order. But it's got lots of chunky white glitters, which I wanted for, like, snow. And then it's got all those little holographic glitters in there. Completely beautiful. Nice and chunky. Loaded with glitters. Completely love it. Completely love it. Then I saw this one and I thought, oh, I can't pass this one. by. <laughs> this one's cherry dust. How cute is that? It's got big um, pink glitters and black and some white in there. So this is really great. And I'm going to swatch all these guys for you. And I'm probably going to swatch it over a clear swatch stick. So you can see just how the glitter comes out without any color underneath. Because at first I was trying to think about, okay, what color do I use these on for swatching? But I think I'm just going to go with this clear swatch stick so you can see what they're like. And that will be in another video because I don't want this video to be like really, really long. Then I got this. Well, really I wanted this color. And uh, for snow, obviously, because it was winter and it was freezing cold. I'm not really fond of the matching glitter. It's If you look at this one and the other ones that I got, they were all chunky, big chunky glitters. This one doesn't have big flakes in it at all. So I was a little, I'm like, oh, I was kind of bummed. Um, but I opened this, and this one... The glitter chunks are a lot bigger, so I don't know what happened between the gel and the matching because it really doesn't match that well. I wonder if it's the same color name. Yeah, Serene Sky. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm not really pleased with this Serene Sky, but this Serene Sky, oops, which is the one that counts, is great. Then I, <laughs> I got this one, too, Your Majesty, which is just like... um. A minty green and this is going to be great I have got like a bunch of clothes that are kind of minty green and uh, so that's kind of why I went with this one and this will be pretty probably for winter and actually probably like Easter and stuff like that too I could probably use these so these are really great I like those too then what else I got let's look at this um, Cuccio which I've used before and I wasn't fond of but I really, huh. okay, let me just tell you, there was a picture of, there was a heart, a computer generated heart with some glitter in there. So I didn't really know exactly what I was getting. I don't think I could find this on the website. So I thought it was going to be a hollow glitter, but it really isn't. So in I, the black hollow glitters in gels are like non-existent. I haven't found any anyways. If you guys find any, let me know in the description box below. Um, but this is not hollow glitter at all. This is just like really plain glitter. Just shoved in a black base. So, but that's okay. I, I think, and I wasn't really fond of Cuccio. Um, I think that's how you say it. Glitters, it is pretty. Now we get outside of the box. It is beautiful. Um, but I, so I figured I could use this over um, my black, my black wave gel. So I figured that that, you know, one coat of this over my black wave gel will be fine. So we got that. And then the last thing we got is 
um, Wave Gel's Glow in the Dark Top Coat. Um, this is a no wipe, glow in the dark top coat. Um, it just, whatever you put it on, glows. And so I did it on two swatch sticks. Um, one to see if it would, you know, if it was like dull or something like that over the black. It's not too bad. You know, you might want to put maybe a shiny top coat over that. And then here it is over the white. And um, you can't really tell at all. Um, it is super thick. You have to shake it up. It is super thick, which is good because that means it's pigmented with a lot of the glow powder. So it is, it is like a super, look at this. Yeah, that's not dripping. This is super thick and you do have to um, work it to apply, um, to apply it, you know, thinly to, to apply it right. So you want to work at it. It's not like you're just going to do it and whoosh, and then you have it on there. You have to work it out to get it smooth. That's what I meant, smooth. So um, these actually are pretty good. This one um, I had, I did last night, and it glowed all night long, which is kind of like amazing. Um, they do, actually they have purple pepper is glows in the dark, and it's not even marked as a glow in the dark nail polish. Um, but it does. Um, the gel part one anyways. Um, but anyways, this glows all night, and I put it on here, and this glows. It's kind of hard to see. Um, I can take you to the dark, um, but they are kind of a little hard to see on camera. But let's, let's try it out. Let's see what we can do. Oops, guess I was wrong. <laughs> um, this is the one over the white that you're seeing a lot. And this one, it, it does go a little, um, the black one does. It's not coming up on camera at all. Um, but the black one does a little, so you probably need like maybe two coats over a really dark color. But over a light color, this is just one coat. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, so the Cuccio, those were um, $6.75 for the set, and this was $8.50. And they did have a 10% off code. I had to hunt for it though. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> I had to hunt for it though. Um, but it was get 10, so I got 10% off. And then here, I got this at Walmart. This is completely awesome. Thanks, Kyleen, for feeding into my uh, obsession. Um, she found these and posted on Facebook that these were carried at Walmart. So, yay to Queen. Go, go Queen. How awesome is that? Um, so, I got this set here. Let's open it up. So it comes with um, a really nice plate, and of course it says remove blue film before use. <laughs> um, this is pretty cool. It's got zebra stripes and some other pattern, and I love this. Look at all these beautiful patterns. Look at this. This is so cool. And then it's got something like for Valentine's Day, Halloween, flowers, flowers, I love those flowers. Um, I don't know what that is, and, um, hearts. So this is a good, good starter stamping, um, plate. That, that's remarkable. That's completely awesome. And then came with two, um, little bitty jars of nail polish. And then this cute little stamper, which I thought was going to be, like, crappy. <laughs> but it's not crappy. It's not a crappy stamper. Um, it's kind of sticky and kind of squishy. It's not like my sticky stampers, but it's kind of sticky. I don't think it's as bad as my sticky stampers, but this is really cool. I love this little stamper. How cute is that? Okay, yay. Oh, and this was like $9.98 at Walmart. And it was like um, in the aisle right above the press-on nails. And then they had this other little stamping plate, um, and this was $3.88. Uh, let me open this. Okay, let me try opening this. Let me go get some scissors and open this. Hold on. It comes in like a little cardboard sleeve. And another little note to remove the blue film before you try using it. And this one's pretty nice. Um, this one's called 
Fairy Tale Lover Collection. So this is really cute. I'm like over the moon impressed. Oh, there it says right there, Fairy Tale Lover 01. So really cool. Um, great idea. Bring your salon home. Completely awesome. Okay, and then last but not least is my Uber Chic order. Oops. Um, and I got sick of waiting for that other mat, <laughs> and these were on sale, so I bought myself another one of these. Um, I, I really like it. I think it was $4.99. And then sticky stamper heads were on sale, so I just got a couple of extra ones. I like their sticky stamper heads a lot. And then I wanted to order this um, Easter plate, which was not on sale, and was like $14.99, I think their plates are. Um, but I thought it was so cute, and I really wanted that bunny. <laughs> well, I actually, I liked everything on here. So this is a really a good plate. Look at, they got a little bunny face on here. It's just really cute. I, I like this plate a lot. So very nice. Um, and then I ordered this. I passed it up. I don't know if it was on sale before or not, but I remember I wasn't that thrilled with it, so I didn't buy it. It's their St. Patrick's Day um, plate. But then I saw this image done on somebody's nail art, and it looked fabulous. And I'm like, oh, I didn't get that plate. And then it was on sale. So I thought, what the heck? I'm going to get it because I kind of like um, all these little shamrocks and stuff. So I like this plate. So this one... It was like $4.99 or $5.99. I don't know. It was on sale. And then I got this one. This one has um, Paris and some wine glasses. Oh, I like that little um, shoe. I like this, this plate a lot. I think those are shoes, too. Oh, it's got a little poodle on here. My little dog's a poodle. So I, I like this plate. So I got this one, too. That is it for now. Um, I've got some um, stampers, a stamper coming in from Butometry. Somehow the order went through without the payment. I was using PayPal to pay for it. it somehow it got through without the payment and I thought it had been paid. They were holding it for payment and I didn't know. I've been waiting like for that thing for like two weeks. Well, I finally found out that from them that it didn't ever get paid and um <laughs> and I sent the payment and it's ready in the mail now so yikes um anyway so that'll be cool um I got this kind of stamper not because I need another stamper but to shrink images that's mainly why I got another stamper otherwise I'm very happy with the stampers I have um oh and I've got some stamping polish coming from Poland finally it left New York. Oh my gosh. Number one, for some reason, it took like a week before they like said they got the um, PayPal payment. I don't know what was up with that because that one I, you know, I did pay for. Um, and it was like, like a week later they said, oh, they acknowledged that they got the payment and it was finally mailed out. And then when it finally made it to um, the United States, it was held in New York for like three days. And I don't, I mean, that's when they just like got to it, I guess. I think it's been in the States for even longer than that. So that is just like totally insane. And then finally, now it's starting to move. So that'll be coming up. And that's, um, that's really exciting. That's my, um, color alike, I think. They're neon stamping polishes that look amazing over black. I've seen several, I saw a video then I watched a bunch of review videos, and I really loved that nail polish, so I had to have it. It was worth the month wait, um, but that's really good. It's kind of odd, though, you know, because like, I've ordered from Russia, and it's only taken a couple weeks. I ordered from the UK. That only takes a couple weeks, so this, this month thing, I'm not thrilled about, but, you know, it's great. It'll be great if it's great nail polish, so we'll see how that works, and that'll be coming up hopefully in a week or so. So, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe, and stay tuned for the swatching of all this and the swatching of everything else. I'm going to be swatching all weekend. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.